Hey guys, it's Trice here, formerly known as Mr. Dragon Triple Zero, back with Axe of the Game, and I'm playing this game again because there's been a new mission added to the game, and it's finally out of the Steam's early access. What we got here in the access folder, so go here, we got ourselves a train accident in the Czech Republic. This is going to be an interesting one to deal with, somebody getting hit by a freaking train. So right now, let's plop in the DVD into the CD drive train, and then that goes whirr, and then the VR goggles goes on, and I'll take you to the accident scene right now. Alright, so here we are, driving at a speed of 100 kilometers an hour in the Morvian Sioux, whatever region of the Czech Republic of June something 2018, and we got the train right here. A yay size train, and we got a van up in here, and the, the, the gates are up. Okay, then, the gates are up. They shouldn't be up. They should be down because we got the train right here. So, cell phone right here in the pocket. That's kind of interesting. So, cell phone gonna be down at the 112, like every... The battery's dead! Put out the fire. How do I get, uh, hazard lights and then get outside? It's been a while. It's been like a few months since I've done this. So, for the trunk, do I have a fire extinguisher? Fire extinguisher, first aid kit, and put out the dead. Okay, yeah, it's smoking up in here. Uh, it's smoking, so I'll put out the fire. We got a man trapped right now. So, try to get the fire all settled out. So, we got the front of the engine that is on fire, front of the hood, and we're still on fire up in here, and... Drop that, so all good, so uh, jammed, jammed, uh, well, we got the damage to the vehicle, this van is hella mangled, how can I get access to the trunk of the, right in my face, we got an emergency warning triangle right here, let's put this way in the back up in here, so traffic knows that, uh, they did travel down here, they screwed up, so where do we even put this, do we put it, like, over here, or, like, here, or, like, on the other side of the train tracks or something, hold on, I think it's the other side of the train tracks, let me see, no way, it's call emergency services, so, I think I have to do that first before putting down the warning triangles, so, grab this guy's phone, so, phone, where the hell is your phone? Did you, like, not have one or something? I swear to God, man. And you're probably thinking to yourself about why I haven't posted another automation to BMG Drive video, despite promising you guys on the last video. It's because Steam had a PlayStation moment last night where their servers went haywire and got shut down for several hours. To keep it 110% with you, the next video will be an automation video. For the vehicle, I'm just about done making it, which is going to be a genuine hybrid hatchback similar to the Ford C-Max Hybrid. Just look at this microscopic teaser of me designing the interior of the car's gauges for proof of me working on it. Hopefully, everything goes smooth so I can get an automation video going by then. How about the train engineer? The train engineer is unconscious. Get inside. Let me see this real quick and... Open that up and, oh god, the train engineer and, uh, call emergency services with the radio. Hold up. Thank you, I'm informing emergency services right now. Okay, we're holding the goddamn warning triangles where, uh, as we're doing this, and please stay there and try to help the victims. Turn off the ignition, place the warning triangle on the road. Okay, let's just hang up, please. Check the victims, your precise location, and return to me. Good luck. Just like the, uh, one mission with the 1960s with the prison bus. Did you say, hey, good luck, just good luck doing all that stuff. And right here, we got the warning triangle, just plop it down right here. And turn off the ignition of the vehicle, this vehicle only. I think you can just reach in and it should be good to go because it's a left side dre uh, vehicle. It's a right hand drive vehicle, not a left hand drive, so boom, turn that off. Our boy Miroslav Dvorak. Sir, can you hear me? Let's uh, unbuckle the seatbelt and throw his head way back, open up his mouth, and we got a wound right here on the left side of his head, and check for breathing. He's good. So we got the driver of the van. Now we got to get the uh, train engineers, both the, I think the conductor and engineer, I believe. So get back on the train again. Get inside, open the door viciously like, pshoom, and check on, looks like the engineer or whomever. It's Peter Misik. Sir, can you hear me while you're upside down? It's the open airway. Snap his neck. You good? Dead. How about the... I, if this appears to be the engineer right here, and this appears to be the conductor, so... Franisek Fritz, if I pronounce that right. Sir, could you hear me while you're at a freaking 90-degree angle pointed downwards up in here? Open the airway. 
Kind of throw your head back. We've got a wound right up in the skull, the top of the head, and you are breathing. That is excellent news. My exact location. I'm guessing I have to look for traffic, not traffic signs, but road signs somewhere. So we got the train tracks here. And is that a civil warning siren right here? Is there like a road sign somewhere is along these crossroads or something like a highway sign, road sign, somewheres or something? I swear. Um, You got this booth right here, a uh, door. Open that up while we sit there, and what the hell? Uh, can I get through here? Duck? Something? Uh, I got a fuse box right here or something, I swear. It's the end of the map, so I can't really go any further than that. I swear if we get these goddamn driver and engineer killed, I'm certain that takes me to nowhere. These train tracks will still take me to nowhere. So how do I get a freaking road sign to tell where the hell I'm at? And a damn engineer, or a conductor, is at like, what, 10% health. Let's, uh, there could be a map on, there could be a map, I swear. I swear if there's a map inside to check, my, uh, to check location, like, right around here, and, uh, that's a door, and... Somewhere's around here? I swear it's a GPS. Consider myself semi-retarded in this game. Since these guys are basically dead, I'm gonna do it again, but give them more health. Which requires doing all this again. Alright, back again, we got the SatNav, aka GPS, in place, so go to the emergency dispatcher back in the train and tell us that we're over in this freaking road right here. And now I, uh, I did rewind it to the point where they got more help for the truck driver, or van driver, and the conductor right here that's laying face down, it seems like. So, radio, talk to the emergency dispatcher, so... Hello, radio. Thank you. Please send me that are already out of the way. Yay. And what did that say until that disappeared? I'm guessing 10 age of the victims. I mean, it'll tell us the top left. So, help aid. Yep, I knew it. So, Pita, turn him around. Like, turn around, like, get him off the train or something? No, just flat out turn him around and... I I I'm stuck. Dude, I'm stuck. There we go. Uh, semi-stuck. And just phase through that. And, oh, okay, so we got another... <laughs> Interesting mechanic over the first aid kit to this dude right here. So let's just open up the first aid kit and put on the gloves like always. And it didn't do the old glove type of um, sound effect. So open up the airway yet again and perform CPR. So chest compressions. Get ready to go in three, two, one, go. Bang, bang, sore. Hey, perfect. A, 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 A. Hey, let's keep on. Imagine this would be me doing CPR to somebody just going, A, 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 just to <laughs> revive somebody. And is it 30? Yeah, 30. 41010, like always. And not even close to my, kind of close to my high score, but not really. And you got a sandwich laying down here. Can I eat that, please? Check the mouth. Uh, remove the food. Nice. He was probably choking on that until he freaking died. So check the breathing. Oh, we revived him. Nice. Pass the information to this dude right here, and... Did a great job. Put him in recovery position and wait. The ambush should arrive in any minute. Okay. So, first aid. Start with the arm. Move the right arm. Raise your right arm and your left arm. Sleep. Get the leg and then begin to turn him over. So, turn over and then the airway, right? Open the airway. Boom. So, now the police and ambulance are going to be on scene. As we can see here with this Turkish type of uh, ambulance sound. Turkish or Spanish and... God damn, his front bumper was kind of phasing through the ground. And the soft suspension yet again with the knockoff Mercedes Sprinter van and food. A bitten sandwich. The collision caused the second driver to choke on his food. Yeah, he was yeah, he was choking a 3-1 lead like the Golden State Warriors. He was... <coughs> like that. I know it's old school, but whatever. And blood. The train driver hits the console. Uh, duh. Like, what can we see here? Nothing else in the train, I believe. So, to the driver of the van, I believe. So, the driver of the... That's my fire extinguisher, the van. So, the van is a dent. The van is hit by the train. Yeah, we can see right here. We got the glass kind of uh, shattered here. Big ass dent. Who knows? So, I'm thinking to the train, I believe. Like, the... Sprite the front. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Barrier. So, is that fuse box gonna be relevant like I looked at earlier? I swear, go to the fuse box. So, open the door and look at here. Burned fuse box! Barriers don't work, or barriers didn't work because of a burned fuse box. Okay, so... <laughs> At least I discovered that earlier, rather than going, uh, uh, where, where, bish, where, and then 10 minutes later, I come to here. So I'm guessing, number one, this. 
Yes, I figured. This dude chokes a 3-1 lead. No, this would be number three, number four. And I'm guessing van and train driver to console. So barriers, van, driver, choke. And we're all good to go. So finish up the scenario and see what happens to all these people. So alive, Miroslav. The collision did a lot of damage to Miroslav's internal organs. Upon arriving at the hospital, he was sent straight to the ER where he went... Uh, underwent a long and difficult operation. The recovery was also slow and painful, but thanks to the medical staff's skill and expertise, he eventually returned to full health. Congratulations to them and to Miroslav's recovery and health and all that good stuff. So next, Frankenstein's Fritz. Luckily for Frankenstein's, or Frantisek, he suffered only a minor, a minor concussion. The superficial wound on his forehead healed quickly, and after a week in the hospital, he was released home. Congratulations. And Pita, he nearly suffocated, but chose to took a piece of food. It got stuck in his airways. Fortunately for him, you were spot on soon enough to help him. He regained consciousness soon after arriving at the hospital, just left a few days later. Cool. So he didn't choke a 3-1 lead like the Golden State Warriors did in real life, which pretty much saying that one bunch of times for goddamn reason. So that'll be it for a scenario, and I think that'll be it for the exit of the game yet again. And wait, whoa, whoa, we got a train! This is new! We got the damn train here! The fuse box? Wait, is this gonna be the collision? Hold on! We got a car? We got the we got the driver that's gonna choke. We got the van driver. Damn, son! Okay! That is new! That is new! Normally you get to like a cutscene, not like a cutscene, but normally you get like a loading screen like this, but not a cutscene! That is very neat that you actually see like what happened before you arrived on scene! So we got the phone vibrating, so that is it, the exit game yet again. So phone, what is, um, who is this? Hi, congratulations, you solved all the cases. I must admit, you were a lot better at this than I expected. You even outpaced Amy, and I thought she was good. Anyways, this means you'll need to wait for her to finish preparing more cases. P.S. Really good job, by the way, I'm proud of you. Congratulations, Mark, but your name's not Mark in here. You normally put the word thanks, Mark, in every freaking text message, but that never even happened. So that'll do it with Exit the Game. That is pretty interesting how they added a ending cutscene to pretty much just show off how the accident took place, how the case just pretty much builds up from like whatever, a car crash or whatever. Kind of like the previous accidents from like this here train crash. I believe like the motorcycle crash, the prison bus, all these axes probably has their own cutscene of how this all went down. That is just downright marvelous of what they did. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos like this in the future. And also check out my social media down in the description below. So this is Tries Rising Up and signing out.